Previously, on Ralph's Brick's Lego vlog. Address some of this mess. This is just ridiculous. Um, so today's project, we're gonna clean up this area. Maybe a little bit of this area. These are gonna go in the bin, in the recycle bin. Um, I'm not gonna keep them around anymore. It's just cluttering up my basement. Little uh, mid cleaning update here. We're making some progress. This area here is all nice and clean. Uh, I need to work a little bit more on this stuff. Cleaning out underneath the table, there's a whole bunch of bricks that just fell off that I need to clean up. Uh, I think we're making progress. I think I'm almost ready to start turning tables and rearranging things. Finished cleaning up the, uh, the new space here. Did a lot of rearranging. Did a lot of uh, cleaning up. Let's take a look at the new section. Good afternoon. It is Sunday, April 25th. I'm just getting down into the basement just now. Um, I spent most of the morning with family. My, uh, my wife is just left. She's going to help take care of her, her mom and dad. Um, took one of the kids with her. So I actually have the house myself from the, this point on for the rest of the day. So I'm going to do some filming and other stuff. Um, some parting out maybe later on tonight. But uh, my main goal right now is to film the store tour that uh, I'm hoping to get out on Wednesday. Uh, brought up the Ralph's Bricks and Men Figures page just to have up in the background for filming that. And I just casually noticed that we've reached 900 orders. That is amazing. Did not realize that. I knew we were close, but I didn't realize we hit 900 orders at this point so that was good so you probably uh want to see the new uh new section that i did a cliffhanger on so here it is so here's the new sorting used sorting area straighten that up put those uh drawers over here where i've got um some parts getting ready to be listed that are just in staging there and then the part out uh the sorting table Underneath is, uh, on the right side is bulk Lego ready to be sorted. On the left side is a uh, part out pile for new, new Lego. And then over here is the new table for, I don't know, work table as well as where the minifigure creation station is. Underneath is just some bins for parting out, some storage and where the uh, minifigures are going right now. That black bin right there is totally empty, so it's got, I got room for storage. Some junk drawer stuff right now, so storage for some part out cups and some extra bags, um, labels and stuff, uh, extra shipping supplies, that kind of thing. Over here, this is uh, my my uh, stash of acromills that are waiting to go up in the wall. Um, I've made this table into uh, where I'm putting eBay stuff and miscellaneous stuff. I didn't really know what to do with this table, so I just set it up back here. Uh, that, that's the, uh, the Lego that we are waiting to do a second run through on. Here's my cart. And then uh, created, moved these things over and created a, a true second row, second aisle. So I've got my shoe boxes over here and then just some, some other drawers with stuff in it. And then I am now ready for 20 more drawers over here. So I can put, I mean, right, 20? Yeah, 20. I can put 10 here on that wall still. And then I can put 10 here on this wall before I need to build another wall. I'm going to wait until lumber prices go down there. And then nothing's really changed over here. This is, this is everything that you've seen. So a lot cleaner, a lot, uh, no more clutter. I, uh, this chair, um, got from family. I think they were going to throw it out and I was, my wife brought it home. She goes, I think you could use it downstairs. I'm like, okay. So 
Put a section on that. Dog bed there. I don't know if he's going to like it there or not, but that's the best place I could find for it. Um, nothing, nothing really over here that is changed. Other, oh, I had, um, yeah, one of those. Let me uh, switch back over here. One of those, uh, the top one here, used to be underneath this table, underneath the desk. Okay. There. Used to be underneath the desk, so I exchanged it for the small one. So the top one is triple zero envelopes, uh, zero envelopes, and number two envelopes. So, and uh, priority flat rate envelopes are in there as well. So that's the new store. I think it, I like it. It's come out good. And so uh, while it's clean and uncluttered, we're going to do a store tour video. So I'm going to get started on that. Good Monday morning, everybody. It's uh, April 26th. Got a couple orders on uh, Brick Owl I got to do. And then I have uh, three orders on BrickLink. One I packed. I packed it for the uh, the show. Or I was recording the what was I recording yesterday? The Brick Store. Uh, the Brick. The Store Tour video. So I packed one up while I was uh, recording that to, to show some some things there. So, and that is here. So, um, yeah. So I, I shot the store tour yesterday. It was actually quite fun. Uh, it actually took me quite a bit of time yesterday. Uh, it took me about an hour to film it all. Um, and then another maybe hour, hour and a half to edit it. I actually filmed it all and I didn't have a vision for what the video would look like. But then I, I brought it up into the editor and, and dropped it all into the time frame and started playing around with things. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, the, uh, the lapel mic either wasn't plugged in all the way, so it's kind of, it sounds kind of a little bit echoey. I think the, the phone microphone picked it up instead of the lapel mic, which is kind of, kind of sucks, but that's only for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute of the video. And then everything else is like voiceover that I did with a different, different microphone. But I think it, I think it came out good. It's, uh, all done. It's all edited, uploaded. Uh, and it's scheduled for Wednesday, so uh, that's that's cool. And then I did a, I was having fun editing, um, and so I did a cool little. Uh, well, I think it's cool. I don't know, but you've seen it already. Uh, the first minute of this video is, uh, you know, like like one of those uh, previously on recaps of uh, TV shows. That's what I was I was shooting for. That little sound effect at the end where it's like the, the dramatic rise and then it like sort of stops. I don't know what that's called and I can't, couldn't find a good example of it. So I had to like, I took my phone and recorded like a TV show that did that. <laughs> Anyways, if you know what that's called, let me know. Cause I, I would love to be able to find a good sound effect uh, of that. That was kind of, that was kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah, let me get into these orders. Got all the orders packed up. It took me about a, maybe an hour and a half to do this. So these are the uh, brick out orders. These are the brick link orders. This is one order right here. This is uh, about 435 parts, but 309 of them are just dark bluish gray, two by four plates. And these are all the new ones. Um, and then everything else is used, which is fantastic. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of the rest of the orders here. This is a little over 500 parts. Um, looks like they're making a lot of landscaping stuff. So, um, and then if you remember last video, I cut this cut this bag in half. Well, I'm reusing it here, so it worked out with that one. So I gotta get this uh, all packed up and get ready for shipping. This one I'm a little bit worried about because it's too. I think it's too big for a flat rate padded envelope. And then. Uh, I'm hoping I can get it into like maybe a ground parcel. Uh, we'll see. I think it's under two pounds. Pulled out the uh, accessories and the, the minifigures here and working on trying to com complete some. I've got three completed so far. 
ready for photographing. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to identify what the uh, what the what the accessories are for each of the minifigures that I, that I've got in here already. So um, I don't know if I've ever shown this, but I've got wanted lists for each minifigure so that I I know how many how many items I have in each for each minifigure and then I know which items need to go so if I pull out a card I can go right to the drawer but then I know right here on the, on the wish list and I can look at this at any computer uh, you know which which items I need and then be able to quickly like click on this and then go and add add the items that I need to my default wanted list to be able to buy it quickly and so I shop on my default wanted list but then I look at everything else that is in the store based on what's on all of these other lists so I don't know if it's a, a way to scale to, to manage all this but um, it, it's definitely a good way to, for me to figure out um, try not to keep all the stuff in my head right um, so I, I've got it all in, in separate lists for each each minifigure and then um, when I run out of stock of something I don't think I ran out of stock in anything here but it, let's say um, yeah I only got one left so let's say I build another minifigure of this torso I would just click on this and then add that torso to the default one list with the average six months sales price for it so that when I'm shopping I can see okay, this store is way too expensive compared to the six months average based on when I added it in, into the into the wanted list. So that's one way I, how I do the shopping and how I try to keep my, my costs down. So I thought it was interesting to show. The way, while I'm uh, at this computer, this morning when I was uh, talking about the, the one order that I was kind of nervous of, it was like a huge order and it was like uh, over one pound already. I'm hoping I can get it into like maybe a ground parcel. Uh, we'll see. I think it's under two pounds. I'll well, um, yeah, so that turned out to be, I had to put it in a box because it wouldn't fit in a priority flat rate bubble mailer. And so with the box, it bumped it up to two pounds, two ounces. And so if I were going to buy a shipping label in PayPal, it would have been... $13, whatever the medium flat rate box, premium shipping, um, medium flat rate box cost is. I think it's like $13 and something. Anyways, I decided to try pirate ship. And so I put in the dimensions of the box. I put in two pounds and two ounces. And it gave me this rate, $8.71, which is priority mail cubic zone four for the zone for where I was shipping it. So... I was able to save five dollars by just using pirate ship for um, for that sort of weight class, which is I guess pirate ship really comes in handy and gives you this option, this male cubic option, when you're in between one pound and I, I don't know what the maximum rate is, but I thought it was two pounds, but I got lucky by doing two pounds two ounces here and getting that. So this was good because uh, the order was using my my free shipping. And so, um, and they had just gotten over the $35 mark. So paying $13 would have been like half of that order. Um, however, the whole order was used pieces. So it was, it was fine, but paying $8 and 71 cents, I feel like I, I won <laughs> and I cheated the system a little bit. So pirateship.com, I've been looking at it. I think it's really cool. I, I don't know how it would work with the flow of things. Um, I have to look at it a little bit more. Maybe I'll talk about it at an upcoming Brick Separators after I, I play around with it a little bit more. Being late on Monday, so I thought I'd uh, just get this one brick head um, parted out. So I'm starting that. I'm just going to pick out the pieces and just put them away instead of like put them in cups or anything like that. Shouldn't Hopefully shouldn't take me long. It's only 117 pieces, 54 lots, so... I think you just pick up a piece and put it away or put it in one of these many drawers. He's getting impatient. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I got a message yesterday 
Uh, apparently one of the orders I had was missing one sand green wedge. So we're going to take a look. Here's the, uh, here's the order. So it was right. The, uh, yeah, the, the right one. This was the order. It was just two sand green wedges, one left, one right. Both were quantity of 50. So um, we're going to look at right drawer 734. So I'll send this regardless, but I do want to verify that I screwed up. Here's the drawer. It's like ridiculous how, how much stuff's in there. This is one of those drawers I got to deal with. But I'll dump that out and I'll take, take out all the sand green pieces and count them up. Um, this says I should have 19, but I'll double check it on BrickLink, see how many pieces I have, and hopefully I'm, I have got one extra, and then this all becomes psh, whatever. If it says what it says, it says, then I have to update my inventory and I'll send her to the piece. But to me, it's not worth arguing over for a five cent piece and three dollars shipping. So it's not going to put me out or anything like that. <coughs> so, all right, let me get this done. So Bricklink says I should have 19. Brick Owl says I should have 19. I counted 20. I screwed up. This is easy. I'll send this to her. No big deal. So I used a uh, pirate ship to print out the label for this missing piece. And this is the part of um, pirate ship that I really love. And I, I've seen this come in on Bricklink orders that I've paid for. And I didn't know how they did it. But now, now that I see it, so Pirate Ship has this notion of rubber stamps. I didn't know what it was until I watched a video on it um, in their support area. But basically, you can have multiple rubber stamp messages. Um, and here, I'm, I'm putting the Brick Owl order number and then just the little little message here. But on the on the label, I'm going to try to do this without showing key information here the brick you know th at the bottom of the label is where the rubber stamp is printed so here is the uh, brick owl number and and uh, the message there so this is something I do by writing it out and if I could get this into my flow where the rubber stamp is printing out the the order number I think this will just make it a little bit more professional so another reason why to love uh, pirate ship here so I'm going to just keep looking into this and see how I can uh, make this work for me. I grabbed a bag of uh, bricks 1x2 used from the uh, from the cabinet over there this morning to work on at work. And here they all are sorted out. Got the um, brick store file uh, all, all set up. All I got to do is put them away. And uh, yeah weird day today i'm just in a foul mood at the end of the day i had a late meeting with uh with sydney started at seven didn't end till eight so um it's 10 o'clock at night now i'm just coming down here now i eat late dinner and yeah i'm just uh poking uh, being pokey today um what else i wanted to talk a little bit about this video that's gonna go out tomorrow it's scheduled see which is my store tour which i'm kind of excited to see what the reaction is of it but it's very much a video that's set geared towards um customers instead of bricklink other bricklink sellers like my vlogs are um eventually i plan to put this after this goes live tomorrow i'm gonna put this as the uh new person new user new audience user to my channel's trailer so like you can set up a couple of different uh entrances for people those that are subscribers and i think i have right now the brick separators as that video that people see but i don't have a trailer for for my channel and i wanted to make this the the trailer but this will be a uh a this is already out so you could probably guys probably already see it but this will be a full store tour of um of the of the store and uh yeah and so anyways i bring this up because i was watching it re-watching it a couple times yesterday after i had a couple couple nights on it to think about it and 
come at it with a with a different perspective and I just every time I got to the part with the mic issues um, and those it, it was the same mic issues that I had in the first clip in this on this video I just couldn't I just couldn't take it I, I wanted this to be a show sort of a little bit of a showpiece so I took a little bit extra time at lunch today which I didn't really need all that extra time and I reshot those those scenes um, so I pulled up a, a Word document and or not Word document a Google document and just typed out what I had said before and maybe improved it a little bit and then came down here and reshot it in like 10 minutes maybe if that maybe five minutes and then brought it back upstairs and um, re-edited the video and then re-uploaded it because I had already had it scheduled so much happier with it now and uh, it's a little bit shorter too so it's only nine minutes and 37 seconds it was what was it nine minutes and 52 seconds 53 seconds so it's a little bit shorter of a video for you guys but much happier with it so I <sighs> can't wait to see what the reaction to that is tomorrow whether or not people watch it or people just people like it I don't know we'll see uh, I'm gonna put these parts away and then I think we're calling it morning night. it's Wednesday uh, April 28th I have 20 minutes left before my first meeting and I have two orders I have to do uh, the store tour video has been posted um, so far great great feedback on on the video so go, go take a look at that I added it as the new um, trailer for my channel so if you're not subscribed it probably just come right up and play on you so anyways I gotta get the uh, two orders done before my first meeting so I'll get that done now let's pick the bag I'm gonna do while I'm working today uh, let's see the bricks um, let's do the two by four bricks today and get those done yesterday's bricks I had about 600 one by two bricks so that'll probably be 200 300 maybe maybe 200 they're big we'll see we'll see at the end of the day this is the end of the day today and I wanted to show this uh, this some stats from um, this inside the the store tour video this is the one that I'm most excited about of the top recent videos it shows how your video is doing compared to the other videos um, based on the time frame so in the first 16 hours and 50 minutes the store tour video out is has been outpacing all of the other videos including the the brick separators which was like my top pacing one and then the vlog on Sunday has been out, outpaced the uh, brick separators for for the first two days, and now um, the store tour is just outpacing both of them by almost a hundred hundred views. So you guys are you guys are watching it. It must be interesting to you guys. Um, and the feedback's been very positive. There's 50, I think fifteen comments right now. Um, just just some great stats there. Um, great feedback very happy with with all of that um, <sighs> report on the bricks that I did so I was able to separate them I was able to separate them when I had to do an upgrade to my Mac however I wasn't able to count them because upgrading my Mac upstairs I wasn't able to open up brick store and, and um, count them so I'm gonna count them now and get them in a brick sock file and put them away and then call it a night because it is almost midnight <laughs> I wanted to highlight this this little problem here so upstairs um, at my desk the lighting is so bad that I can't differentiate light gray and light bluish gray um, you probably can't do it in camera either but I can only it seems like I can only differentiate them down here and yeah, that lighting's terrible at least I can't see it in, in the camera video here but uh, <laughs> every, t every time I do light bluish gray I have to just not count it and bring it downstairs and get it underneath this light and be able to differentiate them. I can do dark bluish gray pretty fairly easily, but light bluish gray and light gray, I just I can't distinguish them for the longest time. And like when I was in at the apartment, these lights here were terrible for um, uh, distinguishing between light bluish gray and light gray. 
it's uh, these sort of LED like bright light bright white lights that are the only ones that I can seem to get a difference between them all right I'm gonna count upload them I'll tell you in the morning what what the counts were to start recording after I saw this uh, remember when I guessed this morning I said 200 300 or probably more likely 200 pieces for uh, the brick 2x4 I mean 200 on the nose I should have played lotto this morning instead of guessing the number of bricks in a bag hey it's Thursday morning good morning uh, I've been down here a little bit already I've already pulled my orders I only had two very small orders like very small orders I think the combined total of these two orders is like two dollars and fifty cents that's how small they are this is one order that piece it paid seven cents for the piece and four forty nine for shipping <sighs> yep and then this one's a little better it's uh, 17 pieces three lots but uh, yeah so we'll get that uh, all packed up all the labels are printed I just need to put in the envelopes put the label on and we're done work on uh, getting this all sorted out this is the second sort of tiles so what does the second sort mean so after the bulk pile at the bulk table, um, I sort out parts into the big categories. And so one of the categories is tiles. So this has been filled up to that level. Like, um, and then they were all washed and dried. And then they've been sitting here since they've been drying since I think about a week and a half now they've been sitting here. So what I'll do is I'll try to um, sort this down into the individual piece types as best as I can. And then um, I'll, you know, once I get those into individual piece types, they'll go into bags and go into my drawers over there for waiting for um, yet another sort and listing. So used parts are just basically a series of sorts, and you just need some space to be able to store it all. Good morning. It's Friday morning. I've got the day off today, and I've got lots of things planned for the store. I did not come back down and film anymore yesterday, um, so let me get you caught up on what happened. I was laughing because uh, Pops has his vlog out early today, and <laughs> he's got an announcement coming. It's probably coming tomorrow. I haven't watched all through this uh, this thing. See, big changes coming soon. But the last two vlogs, he's just been hinting at it, like nonstop, and it's. I know what the announcement is, and it's just hilarious watching this. Anyways, uh, this is what I did. At, I, I finished this at lunch yesterday. Um, I was able to get the tiles all separated out into another major category. So this is one by tiles. These are inverted. I don't even know what they're called. The grill ones, the, uh, the shields, anything circular, two by tiles printed tiles, um, various other things that I didn't know if I needed a full cup or not, so I just put it there. Um, scratched ones that I can't, can't use and things that didn't belong in here that need to go back in the bulk pile. So <clears throat> got that done yesterday. And then while I was sitting at my desk, I had a bag and a, a few cups to, to work through. So I had one by eight. Um, bricks and then these uh, one by six slope curved slope pieces so I got all those uh, counted entered in a BSX file but I didn't get them put away so they're gonna go uh, get put away this morning and I think I have two orders to pull from Bricklink so I will get I think ones I think they're pretty decent orders so that should take me a little bit but like I said I've got the day off today so I'm gonna continue watching blocks pops uh, vlog while I uh, pull my orders and then uh, get this stuff done and see what see what to do next oh later today at four o'clock we are me and pops are recording the next episode of the brick separators we were planning on doing a show about packing orders but then a question came in on my 
uh, my video about um, the store tour on Reddit. That was such a good question that we've audibled and we're going to do a whole show on that question. So I think it's going to be good. I'm excited about it now. The, the packing one was like, yeah, it was okay. It would make a good show, but it's not this level of awesome, I don't think. Okay, let me get started. The stuff that makes me nervous about used. So these bricks have been have gone through one, two, three, three, three different sorts, and I'm about to list. I'm I'm about to list it. I'm about to put it in a drawer, put it away, and get it listed. And then I found this. <laughs> it's like, I should have caught that one. But this is how easy it is. That is just gross. I don't even know what the hell that is. But that almost made it in the drawer. And like, you, this is what caught my eye. I was like, what? what is all that? That's gross. Then I turned it over and I saw all this. I'm like, yeah. I mean, thankfully I caught it. But, jeez. Can you imagine if I sent that to a customer? Oof. I can just imagine if I sent that to Pops. <laughs> Be a whole whole two minute clip about quality control. A little more cleanup. I got all these little uh, spare pieces um, listed and put away. Uh, I cleaned up all these pieces over here. Put the ones that were miss not in the we're not weren't supposed to be in the tile bin back into the bulk to re, get resorted and then put the garbage ones into the box to deal with later uh, so now i will do another sort on all of these so this one i will sort by size and then i will bag them and put them into the drawer over there for me to catalog them when i'm working <clears throat> and then these can probably just go into a bag these, I think I already have a bag for them. These are probably list today sometime. Sort these down. And I'll sort these down. These are two buys. I think there are only two sizes in there. And then these, I think I have already have like a bin upstairs or a cup somewhere that I can just put those in. And yeah, so I'm gonna get working on this and clean this up so I can start working on maybe parting that out this weekend. Quick update over here, got all of the tiles uh, packed up and put away and into this drawer here. So, uh, if you look, here's uh, tiles, tiles, a bunch of tiles, all ready to, for me to grab during one day, during work, during the week, and, and part out. Uh, I, I don't think I talked about it, but I had here just some, some containers that were drying for basically a week. I think I washed them on Sunday. I finally picked those up and um, cataloged them and put them, put them away. Look at this. We're getting ready. Hey, you can see me. Hi, look, that's me. Um, we're getting ready to shoot the, the brick separators. Got it all set up. Uh, I'm going to try shooting it down here today. So this will be your lovely background. And, uh, we're going to start in about 10 minutes. I just shot over the link to Derek so that he can get on. So I'm waiting for him to get on. And then uh, we'll we'll record. All right. What, my phone? This is my camera. This is what I, this is what I use to shoot my vlog. This is how, and, and it's like an iPhone 6S, so it's really bad too. Um, so um, I just watched your vlog. You, your ending kind of is is bad. What, what's your, what's your announcement on Monday? Okay, I hope I hope people can read lips because nobody can hear that because it's I got my heads headphones on. So, right. <laughs> look at that! It's May first already, and it's Saturday. Um, this morning. We have two orders, very small orders. Although that bottom one is um, the Lloyd Possessed minifigure. So that, that got sold. That was really fun to see come through. Uh, no orders on Bricklink. Uh, I do have an order that has a few parts. These ones that are checked that the buyer said I missed. Um, must be getting 
dyslexic or something, but I'll check those and send those out. Um, like I said, yesterday we shot the uh, brick separator show, and uh, <clears throat> so I spent uh, la yesterday evening editing that up, so that's about 95% done. The, um, I'll watch through it maybe one, one or two more times and make any more tweaks to it, but it's, uh, I think it's, I could probably upload it now if I wanted to and, and publish it, I think it would be, be pretty good. But I also did a trailer. This will come out on Monday and, uh, this will be fun. Um, yeah, that's it. I, th I think the, uh, I think the episode came out good. It's like around 42, 43 minutes. So we keep aiming for half an hour and we keep going to like 45 minutes. So, <laughs> So I'm going to get those two orders pulled and then um, I'm going to go upstairs to work on my financial sheets because it's May so I need to create a new financial sheet and then I'll we'll do a quick uh, recap on April and get that posted today and then um, I'll eventually work my way back down here and start these because I didn't get them started yesterday. So <clears throat> that's my goal for this weekend is get those uploaded and get a good healthy upload count start for May. As I was pulling orders, I was thinking about this, this order that had a, a couple of missing pieces in it. And I quick, quickly realized I had to come over and confirm. This is the order that I pulled for the store tour video. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll get these parts out to them. <laughs> Uh, no wonder why I'm missing parts. So many missing parts on this this order. I was distracted. So just following up on the missing piece order, um, I audited the drawers. Two of the three drawers. Uh, one of them had over 500 parts, so I wasn't going to count all 500 parts there. But uh, these two had the correct number of parts in the drawer. So I don't feel like I screwed up there. But I will, like I said before, um, it's not worth arguing. I'll just send these parts out to her. Um, and uh, let it be be that. So it's not worth uh, you know questioning the the, the customer here. So uh, we'll get those out there, and uh, we'll we'll close the, close that chapter. So I feel a little bit better. I don't feel so embarrassed about that about that order and and, and missing the counts because uh, my drawers are correct in the number of parts that say they should be. All right, I'm not obsessed with this, but I've got to show this because this is funny. So this this piece is in drawer 1626. And so if we're looking this way where the camera was sort of set up, it was like this, it was here, right? I can't remember which one it is. Hold on, let me look. 1626, it's right here. This is 1626, right there, right? So... If we were looking at it from this angle, it would be right there. That's that's where I pulled that. 1626, right? There, I, I would have pulled three out of there. Let's go back to this, because this is this gets interesting. So here, I'm pulling, this is me pulling this order. Here, we're just gonna walk through in order. I'm pulling out uh, 1626. Uh, Let's count how many pieces I, I put in that thing. Uh, One, two, so three. I pulled out side, three and put them in, put it in back, there. How many did I need? I needed three. I did not screw up. <laughs> She's getting an extra piece anyways, but I did not screw up. As you can see, it's sunny outside this fine Saturday afternoon. I was trying to get some uh, mowing done. I have a electric mower with batteries. And I've gone through two batteries already and I'm not even about a quarter of the way done. The uh, grass is a little bit too thick and it's, you know, making the lawnmower work harder so it's draining more of the battery. So both batteries are charging at the moment. I've been uh, inside resting for a little bit and I went out to go check the batteries hoping I could continue on and they're still charging. So I came down here, I got these out and uh, they are going to, um, well, we're going to at least open all these boxes, get all the bags sorted into bigger bins down here, and then we're going to go check the batteries. So this, uh, at least get this started and going. So this is, uh, what I've been saying, what I've been buying, 71717, the Ninjago set, the Journey to Skull Dungeon, 
17 copies. It all separated. We got big rocks. We've got this dice looking thing. Stickers, bags, one, two, and three. And all of the uh, recycling. So we're gonna go up and uh, check the battery. See if I can get some mowing done before I come back down here and start. Looks like they're both done, so we can continue mowing. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.